Hi everyone, it's Matt Kenyon from the Performance Lab and today we're going to try and make sense of your pain. The previous video before this uh, was done by Phil Driver. If you've not seen that, then do check that out. Um, Phil talks about in the why we get injured. He talks about low tolerance uh, for uh, all the structures within our body and why by exceeding that, it causes pain and dysfunction and that pain can lead to a reduction in load tolerance. And this is basically the reason why people come to see us at the Performance Lab Physio Practice, um, so that we can figure out where that person's low tolerance level is and we can use milestones to get them back to where we uh, want them to be and where you want to be to lead a happy and healthy life. What I want to discuss today is really why we get pain and what that pain system is actually meaning. So the analogy that I tend to use is that we have pain sensors, these sensors all over our body, millions and millions of them in all the tissues within our body. Okay, so if I break my arm here, there is a sensor in the bone that very quickly tells the brain what is going on. And the brain, to protect that area, will send the pain signal down to that bone. And this is a really important factor, really, uh, that it's the brain that is producing all the pain, not the bone itself. And that's really important when we discuss that a little bit more detail later on. So I get this pain signal being sent down to the bone because it's broken. And that's good because it allows me uh, to protect that area because the pain will tell me to protect the arm and the bone will, be, will need time to heal. Once that bone is healed, then the sensor should start to send less signals to the brain and the brain then sends less pain that allows me to start to use the arm again and uh, once it's healed and everything returns to normal. In a perfect world, that's what should happen. But we don't live in a perfect world. And these sensors sometimes get a bit sneaky and they start sending back messages um, that there is a threat in that area or danger even when there isn't, okay? And I sometimes use the analogy of this. And these sensors are a little bit like smoke alarms. Sometimes you have a smoke alarm that is really accurate and when a, a smoke goes off, it fires and warns everyone and that's really good because it's there to protect you. But other times, uh, you just walk past the smoke alarm and this smoke alarm sets off and the alarm goes. And this is a little bit like all these sensors around our body. Now, these sensors and the sensitivity of them can be um, uh, determined by lots of factors. And we have a whole page on our website and we're doing some other videos around some of these factors. And they're linked really highly with how sensitive this area is. So these factors, for example, can include sleep. We know that sleep deprivation can increase the sensitivity of these sensors. And the day after a poor night's sleep, we can feel a greater volume of pain. That's really important because for some people, they may feel that they're improving and they're getting better with whatever problem that they've been suffering with, then they have a poor night's sleep, and for some reason the next day they're in so much more pain. That can be really worrying for a lot of people, and that can lead them to make choices that may not help their recovery moving forward. So just knowing that can be really important. Other factors such as stress. Stress does a similar thing, okay? When we're stressed, then certain hormones within our brain are depleted. And these are our natural pain relieving hormones within our brain. So you can imagine if these are depleted, then this nervous system and this sensory system will be hypercharged and hypersensitive. So again, after a period of stress, not always at the time of stress, but maybe a few days later, our pain problem can then increase again. Multi, multiple factors. So all these we're going to discuss uh, in some other videos and on our website, but it's really the main factor that's important for you guys is to know that pain doesn't always follow that perfect picture. And there's sometimes very confusing factors that will um, must not make sense to you. And it's our job to try and make sense of the problem that you're going through so that you can lead that happy and healthy life. So that's a basic overview on the pain system. I hope it made a little bit of sense. We will have some further videos and further links to some of the world experts around this area and look at all the other factors that can contribute. 
So click on some of the other videos and I hope you, that helped you today and thanks for listening.